in this video let's talk about the three paradoxical problems in the reporting world before we get started let's define what's a paradox here is the dictionary definition so let's focus on the third one here the person or thing that combines contradictory features or qualities the essence of a paradox is that there's some contradiction so what's the contradiction here in these three problems the contradiction is these problems are easy and intuitive for us as human beings but they are hard and unnatural for the databases and hence all the reporting tools whether it's tableau clickview any of these power bi because they all inherit paradigms of reporting from from the databases world so let me illustrate this with starting with the simple report this report summarizes sales by year there's three numbers nothing fancy here so what i want you to do is to display the difference in sales from previous year just add another column so why don't you pass it and do it now just quick probably a few seconds so was it hard for you if if you are a, a typical person i would i would hear from you it's it's very easy really so if it is so easy for us as human beings why is it hard for the databases it's 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 baffling why so let's reflect consciously what operations are we doing here if you look at this we are taking the current value uh, let, let's focus on 2012 we are taking this 15,000 and then taking the previous value 10,000 and doing subtraction. And subtraction is a mathematical operation and databases are very good at that. So then what's the difficulty really? The difficulty is accessing a previous or next record is very easy for us. But for databases, it's not easy. So then you might ask what are really databases good at, right? So from the reporting perspective, I will say databases are good at three things really extremely good aggregations they can take a million records and produce one value like total sales average sales minimum sales maximum sales they're extremely good at filtering and they're very good at sorting too but there's no provision to go to the previous record or even next record to be fair to the databases they were not really built for that purpose and we need it all the time this kind of you know looking at a previous versus next all the time we need it that's why I think Excel is such a hero in the data analysis world. You know, it's just a matter of just pressing your, you know, mouse, I mean, the up arrow key and it goes to the previous record and you can write a formula, a nice formula. So let's come back. Let's give this problem a name so that we can, we can easily remember this. So what is a good name? Pass the video and think about it. And, and let's summarize what we are doing so that we can give a proper name. So we take the current value of the sales measure and compare it to the previous value. In other words, we are doing a me versus my peer comparison, right? So that's what we are doing. So what's a good name? Peer comparison sounds like a fair name, a formal name, right? Doesn't sound any, uh, you know, funny. But given that we are, we are in the visualization world, I would like to give a name which evokes Im images, concrete things really in our mind. And what could be a better name than this one? Uh, peer pressure problem, right? Uh, all of us, uh, you know, when we talk of peer pressure, there's some, some emotions evoked in us, right? So let's summarize the problem here. Peer comparison is a very instinctive trait for us as human beings. We do it all the time. Look at the kind of questions we ask. Even at home, when our children bring uh, report cards, we look at their rank, the relative performance of them vis-a-vis -vis their peers. And, and at workplaces, I have not met an executive who is not focused on the top versus bottom analysis, right? And, and then we always look at reports year over year, what's the growth compared to the last quarter, how much have we grown? So this, this is the paradox here. This is the problem that is so much needed in, in the real world in reporting, but databases are not really good at that. So the essence of this problem is accessing a previous record, right? So it's, and, and comparing it to a peer, enable us to do the peer comparison. That's the first paradoxical problem. And this simple report will, will give you a mental picture of what that is. So for the next paradoxical problem, this is like taking the peer pressure problem and putting it on steroids. 